Have you ever wondered if androids walk among us, hidden behind the veil of humanity? Picture this for a moment. Sentient machines, not just inhabiting our screens and devices, but living, breathing, and even emoting as we do. Sounds like something out of a science fiction novel, doesn't it? But isn't it often said that reality is stranger than fiction? We live in an era where technology is advancing at an unprecedented rate. From the smartphones in our pockets to the smart homes we live in, artificial intelligence is no longer a mere concept, but an integral part of our lives. We're surrounded by AI in our cars, our workplaces, even our kitchen appliances. It's not so far-fetched then to imagine a world where androids could exist among us unnoticed. Throughout popular culture, we've seen this concept explored time and again. Movies like Blade Runner and Ex Machina, TV shows like Westworld, they all paint a fascinating, albeit sometimes frightening, picture of a world where the line between man and machine is blurred. But what if I told you that this might already be our reality? What if I told you that there's a possibility that an android is living among us right now? This brings us to the enigmatic figure that is Tara. Tara, the alleged android, a figure shrouded in mystery and the epicenter of a conspiracy theory that has caused quite a stir in the digital world. She's not your typical android, mind you. She doesn't have metallic skin or glowing eyes. On the contrary, she looks just like any other woman. And that's where the intrigue begins. Is she really an android or is it all an elaborate hoax? What is the truth behind Tara? And how does her existence, real or not, influence our perception of androids and artificial intelligence? So, who is Tara and why is she the center of such a contentious debate? Stay tuned as we delve deeper into the mystery of Tara the Android, a tale that might just make you question your understanding of reality. Tara isn't your typical subject of a conspiracy theory. In fact, she's far from it. Tara was introduced to the world as part of a musical project. A melody maker with an angelic voice, she enchanted everyone with her songs that were as mysterious as they were beautiful. Her uncanny appearance, however, stirred up the curiosity of the masses. You see, Tara was not your everyday pop star. She exhibited peculiar behavior and had a certain robotic precision to her movements that were hard to ignore. Her eyes, they were as glassy and emotionless as a doll's. And her skin? It had an unnatural sheen to it, almost as if it were made of plastic. This odd combination of human-like characteristics and mechanical mannerisms was enough to set tongues wagging. The whispers began, the murmurs grew louder, and soon enough the world was speculating. Is Tara an android? The theory might sound absurd to some. After all, how could a singing sensation be a machine? But then again, we live in a world where technology is advancing at an unprecedented pace. We have robots serving us coffee, so why couldn't there be one that sings like a bird and looks like a human? However, it wasn't just her appearance and demeanor that sparked these speculations. There was something more, something that lay beneath the surface. It was her songs. Her music was mesmerizing, yes, but it was also filled with cryptic messages. The lyrics were layered with meaning, some of which seemed to hint at her true nature. They were like breadcrumbs leading those who dared to follow along a path that twisted and turned, only to end at the same question, is Tara an android? But what really ignited the conspiracy theory were the messages hidden in her songs, the ones that hinted at a reality far more complex than we could ever imagine, the ones that begged the question, what is Tara, really? The songs of Tara, they say, hold secrets that are not for the faint-hearted. Let's venture into the enigmatic world of Tara's music. Her melodies, while catchy, are known for their peculiar nature. They captivate and bewitch, yet they leave a lingering sense of unease. You see, it's not just the tunes that are intriguing, but the lyrics. They are cryptic filled with hidden messages and coded confessions that have intrigued listeners worldwide. Fans and theorists alike have devoted countless hours to deciphering these elusive lyrics. Like cryptologists breaking secret codes during the world wars, these dedicated individuals have pored over every word, every note, searching for hidden meanings and concealed truths. Take, for example, one of Tara's most popular songs, Binary Dreams. 
The lyrics are a mesmerizing mix of poetic metaphors and cryptic imagery. Some fans believe that the song is a coded confession of Tara's android nature. They argue that the repeated use of binary code, the language of computers, is a subtle nod to her artificial origins. Another heavily debated song is Eternal Echo. Here, Tara sings about existing in a loop, repeating the same actions over and over again. Fans argue that these lyrics are a metaphor for an android's existence, trapped in an endless cycle of pre-programmed routines and tasks. But perhaps the most intriguing interpretation comes from the song Silicon Heart. Here, Tara sings about a heart that doesn't beat yet feels. Many believe this to be a direct confession of her android nature, a heart made of silicon, not flesh and blood. These interpretations, as intriguing as they are, only scratch the surface. There are countless more theories, each more fascinating than the last, each adding to the enigma that is Tara. These messages, they claim, are the coded confessions of an android. But what do you think? Are these cryptic lyrics the confessions of an android or just the creative expressions of a unique artist? The mystery deepens and the intrigue continues. But words can be twisted, meanings can be subjective. What about the tangible evidence? Let's delve into the physical attributes that suggest Tara might be more than meets the eye. Firstly, we have Tara's singing voice, a quality so perfect it's almost hard to believe. She hits each note with a level of precision that surpasses even the most trained of human vocalists. It's as if she's programmed to sing flawlessly, without any of the natural imperfections that characterize a human performance. Is this a testament to her talent or a hint at something more mechanical? Then there's the matter of her movements. Watch any video of Tara and you'll notice something uncanny about the way she moves. Her motions are fluid, yet too precise, too perfect. They're devoid of the subtle nuances that make us human. It's almost as if her actions are pre-calculated, driven by algorithms rather than spontaneous human impulse. And let's not forget about the elephant in the room, Tara's agelessness. Over the years, Tara appears to remain frozen in time, untouched by the natural aging process. We've all seen celebrities who age well, but Tara's case is extreme. It's as if she's immune to the passage of time, her visage unchanging, her energy unflinching. Does she possess the secret to eternal youth, or is she simply not subject to the human condition? Each of these elements, when examined individually, could be written off as mere quirks or coincidences. But when you consider them collectively, a pattern begins to emerge. A pattern that's hard to ignore, and even harder to explain. But then again, we live in a world where reality often blurs with fiction, a world of deepfakes and CGI, where what you see isn't always what you get. So, could these anomalies be the result of clever production tricks or advanced technology? Or do they hint at something more, something beyond our understanding? Still, these could be dismissed as mere coincidences or clever production tricks. But as we peel back the layers, the question remains, is Tara the android a reality or just a well-crafted illusion? There's something about Tara that just feels off. You've probably had this thought before if you've been following the Tara saga. This sense of unease, this almost instinctual shudder has a name. It's called the Uncanny Valley. The Uncanny Valley is a fascinating concept in robotics and artificial intelligence. It's the idea that when robots or computer-generated figures look and act almost, but not exactly like real human beings, it causes a response of revulsion among observers. It's a dip in our emotional response towards robots that look too human. It's like we're comfortable with them up to a point, but once they cross a certain threshold of human likeness, it starts to creep us out. And Tara, my friend, seems to be a perfect resident of this creepy valley. She's almost human, but there's something not quite right, something that sets our teeth on edge. Is it her slightly off movements, the way her expressions don't quite match her words, or perhaps it's the unnatural cadence of her speech? All these elements combine to give Tara an eerie, unsettling aura. It's like watching an imitation of a human being, a puppet master trying to mimic human nuances but falling just short. It's this uncanniness that gives fuel to the conspiracy theory surrounding Tara. 
This phenomenon is not just limited to Tara. It's a common occurrence in the world of robotics and AI where developers are constantly trying to bridge this uncanny valley. The goal is to create robots so lifelike that they seamlessly blend in with us humans. But the more they try, the more they seem to unintentionally amplify this sense of unease, this instinctual fear of the almost human. So, does Tara's uncanny nature prove that she's an android? Not necessarily, but it does add a layer of mystery to her existence. It gives the conspiracy theorists something to latch onto, a reason to question, to probe, to speculate. It's a thread in the complex web of the Tara conspiracy, a piece of the puzzle that is her existence. And yet none of this is definitive proof. The uncanny valley, while intriguing, is not conclusive evidence of Tara's android status. It merely adds to the speculation and the intrigue, fueling the fire of the ongoing debate. Is Tara human or android? The mystery continues. In the world of conspiracy theories, there are always two sides. The believers, those who ardently subscribe to the notion that Tara is indeed an android, and the skeptics, those who raise their eyebrows and question the validity of the claims. Let's start with the believers. They are the enthusiasts, the ones who've delved deep into the rabbit hole. They've analyzed every pixel of Tara's videos, every word she's spoken and every expression she's made. They fervently believe that Tara is not like us. They see the uncanny valley in her every move and hear the synthetic undertones in her voice. For them, the evidence is clear and unambiguous. Tara, in their eyes, is a marvel of technology, an android hiding in plain sight. But then we have the skeptics, those who question, who scrutinize, who demand concrete evidence. They see Tara as an elaborate hoax, a product of clever video editing and special effects. They argue that the uncanny valley is a result of our minds playing tricks on us, an illusion created by our own preconceived notions of what an android should look like. They challenge the believers to provide incontrovertible proof, something more than speculation and interpretation. The skeptics point to the lack of scientific evidence, the absence of any credible technological breakthrough that would allow for an android as sophisticated as Tara to exist. They argue that if such a breakthrough had occurred, it would be impossible to keep it a secret. The world would know. And yet, the believers hold firm, convinced that the skeptics are either blind to the truth or part of the conspiracy to hide it. It's a clash of conviction and skepticism, a battle between those who see the extraordinary in the ordinary and those who demand hard, empirical evidence. The believers and skeptics, neither able to fully convince the other, continue their debate, their arguments echoing in the vast realm of conspiracy theories. Despite the lack of concrete evidence, the debate rages on. So, is Tara an android, a technological marvel hiding in plain sight, or just an elaborate hoax? We've delved into the mystery, decoded the messages, and scrutinized the evidence. We've journeyed through the uncanny valley and listened to both the believers and the skeptics. The conspiracy theory surrounding Tara, the alleged android, is as intriguing as it is controversial. The theory proposes that Tara is not human, but a sophisticated android. This claim is supported by her uncanny behavior, her robotic movements, and the cryptic messages found in her videos. Moreover, some believe that her creators intentionally revealed her true nature through these subtle yet puzzling clues. If this theory were true, it would imply that we live in an era where technology has surpassed our wildest dreams, where androids can pass as humans and live among us unnoticed. It would mean that artificial intelligence has reached a level of sophistication that allows it to mimic human behavior to an almost perfect degree. But the fascination with Tara extends beyond the question of her being an android. It's about our fascination with the unknown, the unexplained, and the mysterious. It's about our innate curiosity and our relentless pursuit of truth. It's about our fear of the uncanny and our fascination with the technological marvels of our time. Whether Tara is an android or not, she has become a symbol of our collective curiosity and our fascination with the boundary between the natural and the artificial. She has sparked debates, inspired discussions, and kept us on our toes as we try to unravel the mystery surrounding her. 
However, despite all the theories and debates, despite all the evidence and speculation, the truth remains elusive. The question of Tara's true nature continues to baffle us, continues to intrigue us, and continues to challenge our understanding of what it means to be human. In the end, whether Tara is an android or not is a question only she can truly answer.